My name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick. And to give you a little background on ourselves, in uh, 2016, my husband um, saw the white light of Creator, and that energy merged with him. And um, but at that moment, uh, it healed my husband of all all the illnesses that he had at that time, and there were many, about 20 prescription medicines that he was on. Um, so he was suddenly healed of all of that. And he was able to see uh, many, many, uh, after that, he was able to see orbs and angels, and he became fully clairvoyant. He actually had all of the clairs after that. In human form. Right. He could see the fairies, and, um, but uh, his whole upper body, he was able to heal. He scans people, and at that point, um, I started receiving downloads of information on illnesses, and I could see the inside of people's bodies, almost like a movie play in color. I can see the healing as it's happening and you're instantly healed. Um, and uh, we also get past life information. <laughs> we also have the ability to do this to animals. We can see attachments if you are if you have a, 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 lost, a, a lost soul attached to you. Uh, implants. Yeah, implants. Anything else I'm leaving on? Um, and uh, the past life information, the first past life information we are given is uh, usually what's affecting this incarnation for you. So that's the gift that we were given for this life and the ability to heal. And um, we're very, very honored to be able to do this. And we teamed up with Archangel Raphael uh, who is Philip Barrow, our partner in love. I had a fly then. <laughs> fly attacking me. Uh, good, well, good morning from the UK. It's, it's 12 o'clock here now. Uh, I started my journey as a walk in. Uh, my body died for four minutes as a baby, and I walked into uh, suspected brain damage. I used to talk to. Uh, the family in light language and they did they thought the brain damage was really severe and uh, I got past uh, the eight but uh, I was just very rebellious. At five year old my first healing was a goldfish in 1970 and my hands glowed which I thought was very unusual. Uh, when I was seven or eight I could manipulate weather especially if uh, a young eight year old wants a bit of snow and uh, we had the worst snowstorm in 100 years that, that, that year. But obviously, karma, we had the worst summer that year for heat wave. We had, we had the six week heat wave. Uh, and during the, from day one, I've been an healer basically. And then 20 years ago, I saw an ad in a paper to be credited. And I thought, I need to check this because uh, I didn't know anyone else could do it. And I checked the. Uh, I did a two-year course to be credited healer at a college, which is quite astounding how you can actually get trained at a college nowadays. And uh, for the last 20 years, I've been doing voluntary work at two healing centres. But over the years, I've been meeting aspects of different aspects of myself. The recent one is uh, I have got dragon, an aspect of dragon. Uh, warrior dragon, which was quite interesting. Uh, but like uh, Merlin, even Moses, uh, I'm not a religious person, so <laughs> I don't tell people that normally. Um, there's a different aspect, loads of different aspects, and that's where I gain all my knowledge, that's where I gain all my healing, and I've been doing that for 20 years. And uh, uh, the problem that healers do have is they always block themselves because they think it's not possible, and if you think everything is possible, then you're not blocking yourself. Uh, I think that's about it. And interestingly enough, I was Miriam, and I fished your butt out of the out of the river, <laughs> which is probably why we got to know each other in this life. I didn't know that. You, you learn some every day. <laughs> now you know. Mm -hmm. I was Miriam. There you go. <laughs> I didn't know you were Moses. <laughs> I never told you that one, did I? Uh, no, and I never <laughs> told you about Miriam. <laughs> but, but you know how he's supposed to part the sea? He didn't. He created a funnel. He created a funnel. So the, the 
it's well, changed a lot of a stuff bit. in the Bible is um, changed a bit. Yeah. Changed a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, who's first? Well, we have um, Sophie who's uh, managing. Oh, oh. Okay. right, Sophie. Who? Yeah, hi. Yeah, um, we have um, uh, first healing from uh, Denise requested it for her friend, a scan and a healing. Her friend Kim. Okay. Um, Denise, do you want to unmute yourself? Unmute. This is Kim. Yeah, Kim. Hello. Hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wonderful to hear all your <laughs> your voices. <laughs> <laughs> is there any particular healing you need, or shall I just give you some healing? Uh, yes, I believe so. I, I wouldn't know exactly how to be so specific about it, but uh, uh, this is a late life situation looking for uh, looking for the inner workings of the soul to work effectively <laughs> the rest of my life uh, do what it is i guess i'm here to do <laughs> okay okay so I'll, I'll just carry on here I'll, I'll, I'll send you some healing let us know what you feel and uh, that can do a scan okay can you talk Ooh. again for me is it his name kim mm -hmm. Kim, can you talk, please, so I can bring we can bring your picture up on the screen for us. Yes, I, I don't know how to bring. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Thank you. There you go. We have to see your energy. That's why. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. No, you're good. <laughs> He's going right to your lower region, into your prostate and your colon, and in your lower region, um, he's doing healing. You may feel some warmth down there. This is an experience you did not ask for, so this is he's able to heal all of this. You're gonna have an emerald green energy in your in this area. Um, it's gonna last for six days. He's also going into your pancreas, he's going to your liver, he's going into your bladder. All into your organs in this area. Your colon, your kidneys, your spleen, your stomach, and your intestines. And your also your esophagus. This whole air, this whole region is your that but the torso itself is going to have this energy in that region, you also have a heart murmur. <laughs> He's going to correct the electronics in your heart. What he wants you to do for the next part, as long as you remember, every time you take a drink of water, he wants you to thank the water. He wants you to picture white energy, like diamonds, white diamond light, going into that water and the words love before you take the sip so that you're, you're energizing that water and then drink the water. Every time you take a drink of water, just picture that that energy going in, this energy of love going into your your system. So when you bless that water, 
and you're grateful for that water, you're going to put that energy of love into your body. And drink as much as you can for the next six days. And you're just going to flux, flush these toxins out. So this energy of healing is going to stay with you and it's just going to absorb into you. You still have a purpose. You still have a, a reason to be here. Your time is not over. You are a very <laughs> important person. So remember that. <laughs> we all are. We all have a purpose. <laughs> Shall I do a little bit now, Jeff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got I've got a lot of emotion inside you. You don't like taking it out that much you keeping hold of it i actually had te your tears which is very unusual I've never had that before and these emotions are not helping you you need you need to release them you really do need, need to because emotion you keeping hold of something is keeping baggage so you gotta just let them go uh let it you go. might let let the emotions go. If, if if you need to be upset, need to cry, and if not, just let it go. Yeah, because I had te I had actually tears healing you. I've never I've actually never felt that before. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, my friend, <laughs> that was a beautiful little ride there. <laughs> Thank you. I can't tell you. Hmm. Extend. So, so, so re remember, keeping hold of keeping hold of pain in your head, negativity, mm -hmm. has got to, it actually feeds the pro problems you have. Mm -hmm. so you, you've got to, if you can try and do meditation, try and do a bit of walking in a park, uh, uh, connect with trees, connect with the country, and release it. Just let it go. You don't need to to keep hold of it, and that'll that'll that'll, that'll improve you by doing that. Okay. I'm just absorbing it. <laughs> Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Great uh, side lunch you, from our friend. Did you feel healing going into you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think you mm. about seven spots that are typically nodes of difficulty and I mean and when you start naming them it's that gets you know it's like oh yeah oh oh so now we'll see six days emerald green <laughs> well that's Archangel Raphael's that's who Philip is uh, that's his healing energy um, and my husband is connected to God that source energy you can't lose here. Dynamic <laughs> duo, yeah, I, I, I can work with that. <laughs> you can't, you can't lose. <laughs> it's pretty powerful here. Let us know how you're doing. Thank you, thank you, guys. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Okay, second, we have uh, um, Sophie. Sophie, one yeah. second. I know you, you said not to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Do you want an yeah. uh, uh, oracle card or not? It's up to you. It's a uh, guidance of the angels. Do you want one or not? Do you want him to pull a yeah. card for you? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Tell him when to stop. Tell us when to stop. Tell him when to stop. He's shuffling. He's shuffling the cards. Tell him, tell him when to stop. Stop. And the card is, the angels are saying harmony. So, harmony. <laughs> harmony. Which is a card I would like, actually, if I was doing these cards for myself. <laughs> <laughs> How would it, I? It, what it means is the angels are saying, let go of your troubles, bring harmony to yourself, which is exactly what I think I was just saying, actually. So, <laughs> yeah, so it, it's exactly the same. So Release. <laughs> release, release the troubles. 
<laughs> and if, if you need help releasing them troubles, ask the angels to help you. I was that. Okay. <laughs> you have a lot of them around you. You're never alone. Yes. <laughs> you do have a lot. All of us do. We are all surrounded by our angels and guides. What's up, everyone? Um, so I've, I had this experience uh, a few months ago where I did a Merkaba meditation. And um, when I was up, up, I was spinning it up above my head. And then I started having negative thoughts come in. And next thing you know, I saw this like Anunnaki type being latch onto my root chakra. And uh, ever since then, it's been like, I can hear it telepathically. And um, I can feel this like weird resonance down in my root chakra. Um, so I'd like to get a scan and healing hopefully you and some kind of an attachment uh, felt. yeah and i've also i've also felt um a weird attachment on my third eye as well um in my crown crown chakra like it's almost like something's grabbing me um i'm a fractal of archangel michael by the way um and it's just it's it, my energy has just been really off and low because i think it might be too sure. yeah i'm i'm thinking that they're yeah for sure, an fractal archangel Michael, and that's why they want you. So right. just so you know, we can see what's uh, going on. I, I, I'm, I'm picking up an implant, actually. Oh, yeah? From this uh, trickster energy that's, uh, that, that uh, when you when you were spinning. Mm -hmm. I'll try, I'll, I'll, I'll go into, uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. okay. I try, I, I try and go to the end of the implant and remove the source of the implant. Mm -hmm. So you might let us know what you actually feel. Okay. Uh, uh, just enjoy the ride. Okay. okay. And Deb can do the other part. I'm not sure if the, uh, is the attachment a soul? There is an attachment in the, in the root chakra. <clears throat> yeah. It's a, as far as I know, this being is actual, like an actual breathing being. Um, I don't, I don't feel a soul. I don't feel a soul. Hmm. Okay. Uh, just relax. Archangel Michael's here. Archangel Faneuil's here. Bowman's here. He just showed himself to me. Just ate the one at the root chakra. Chakra. You should feel release. Yeah, I can feel sensations in in my root for sure. That was um, Phillips, uh, Dragon Doman. You removed that one from your root chakra. It didn't have a soul. There's a violet flame around you now. Archangel Michael's blue sword. Yeah, I can feel his my wings flap. They just flapped really hard.
Hmm. Yeshua just said, eat some asparagus. I can definitely feel my resonance um, is opening up again. Your root chakra is all healed. I feel just playing the rest. That's done. What did you think it was? Uh, I thought. It I thought it was an Anunnaki, um, or I've seen the demon set, like the Egyptian god set. It was an unusual one with red eyes. I've, I've chased it into a lower dimension. I, I've actually, I cut it up and the uh, and Doman fired it, set it on fire, and then ate it. He likes to eat demons, so it was a, a, some sort of demonic. But I, what I'll do after this event, I'll I'll look them up because that one's an unusual one. I have seen. What did it look like? I think it was Anunnaki, because the Anunnaki are, um, no. What does it look like? Hmm. <laughs> does it, did it look like a dog? Hmm? Did it look like a dog? Mm-mm. No, not quite. It looked like a dog, dog's face, but human thing in it. It did have horns, it had red eyes. Yeah, and it was very, the horns. Yeah, it was very, very, uh, I like crocodile skin. No, no, not crocodile skin. More like hippo skin. Mm. Yeah, and I, I chased into a lower dimension, uh, mm. which is against the rules anyway. But, but uh, <laughs> <don't>, <laughs> I'm not supposed to go down there. But uh, Doman went with me. Doman's me uh, warrior dragon. So how do uh, I how do I keep it gone? Um, because it feels like it. Um, it comes back like Metatron. It, it, it's Metatron. Gone. No, it has gone. Don't it's exist. Gone. We we battled it. They, Doman ate it. Doman set set it on fire when I cut it up and ate it. So stop. Okay. <laughs> don't, <come back. laughs> don't, don't come back. Let, 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 us, let, let us know because sometimes these have got others around them. So okay. Uh, it's like it, my. It, the thing I'm afraid of is my cells in my root mm. chakra have like the memory of that, the sensation of it being there. No, it's um, been healed. Okay. You're, Thank you. Healed. I can feel, I can feel yeah. my energy open up. Yeah. 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 You just have to, you know, your thoughts are, are your, are, you know, are you, you have to just keep your thoughts um, and your vibration high. That's all. But, mm. I mean, don't go into fear. These things, they, that's what they are, are attracted to is fear. Right. Yeah, you're more powerful than them. Just yep. remember that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. If you're more powerful than them, they'll manipulate you with uh, all sorts of uh, mind controls that give you fear. And they're, 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 they're changing your energies by doing that because they mm -hmm. want to feed off your energies. So. Yeah. Um, can I ask a question? Are cigarettes like really bad for uh, ascent ascension? There are people that still smoke that are high vibrational beings that still smoke. Mm. I don't because so. it, it feels like my pineal gland opens up and I get this rush of uh, I think it's a Syrian en energy or Syrian energy comes in when I smoke cigarettes. So I was just wondering. It's you know it's you know you've got some people that are spiritual that say you know your third eye will never open if you smoke cigarettes. That's not true. <laughs> it's not true. Mm. Yeah, it's. Oh, you, oh, you, oh you, you've got to be vegetarian. 
I'm not vegetarian. That, yeah, there's plenty of people that still mm. eat that. that yeah. um, you know, don't, I've seen people that still drink alcohol that are still very spiritual. Mm. Okay. It, don't let don't, it, you know you do you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll there's let you no, guys there know. There should be no judgment. If, if you want to smoke cigarettes, smoke cigarettes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you because it because I still feel like a little tingling down there um and I just like a tingling in your um in in your root chakra yeah but maybe it's maybe it's uh, an angel or something it's uh, probably a healing energy yeah you, you, you need to try and do a bit of grounding later yeah you see that That was weird. My Zoom just cut out. You yeah. said to do grounding. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. I could feel that healing for sure. <laughs> and right when you said Archangel Michael, my wings were just like woof, 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 and just get this huge tingling rush down my spine. <laughs> I, I, I could actually feel pain in my back. So I wonder if that's, you know, when you're moving your moving your your wings or anything because I, I i've got it now i've got like a like, it's not a pain it's more like a uh like a throb throbbing in the back does that you happen? you yeah. feel that in me yeah but when when we heal we we transfer any negativities that you've had so mm. that, so th th this was probably anchoring into your back i think mm. whatever it yeah. was mm. yeah it, uh, there was a block like um in my solar plexus, like along my spine, I could feel before it was like hard to do Kriya, Kriya yoga when I was, um, when that was there. But yeah, um, thank you. I, I probably got that. Now, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mine, so I can clear it like, like well, it sounds like you're way more experienced than me. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks. Are you going okay. to do a card for him? Do, do you want a card? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Tell him when to stop. I, I, I was guessing this, actually. I think it was spiritual growth. Stop. Wait, what'd you say? Uh, no, I, I did It's focus. Focus. Mm. Focus. No. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's strange how these cards are actually quite, you know, they're quite balanced to, with how you are. What you've got to do is, you, you, this card basically, you, you've got to check your own thoughts. Yeah. For intuition. I think it means uh, stay dedicated to my practice as well, like focus yeah. on myself and stuff. Yeah. But, but the, the thoughts that are coming in will help your spiritual intuition. So you've got intuition there. You've just got to connect to it if you get if you know what I mean. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank just, you. Just for just for everyone, I haven't done these cards since I was about eighteen. So I've started doing them again because at eighteen, uh, I used to do Alistair Crow and, and also Angelic cards. So I used to do both ends, and uh, I think this is good because it, it gives you a guide to the healing or the the actual what's happened to you joy with me and Debs and Rick. So this card is like guidance from the angels. We should, it always tallies, it always go, it always balances. So hope you take that one and focus. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Next we've got um, Ania. She asked for a healing for Kia. Um, Kia, do you want to um, unmute yourself? Yeah, I am. Um, I did a well, it's not a silly thing, but about uh, last year, late last year, I um, I'd healed myself from chronic fatigue, and I'd been really great. And then I I asked the universe to help me heal all the the patterns and distortions that had led to me being sick, so I could be fully healed and really step into this life. And um, my body's having a bit of trouble keeping up. And I guess so am I. 
So, so you, you were releasing all the past lives, pain, and everything from every, every, everything basically. Yeah, I didn't think it through <laughs> very much. Um, I didn't realise that's what I was asking. Um, but I've definitely what, 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 what you can do because I've done. I did that last year, and uh, I had to be. And I don't have headaches because I'm an era, I can get rid of it, but I, I had to keep out all the pain and I had I had about seven days of it and I ended up saying to the I ended up saying, No more, stop. <laughs> Can't handle it. Yeah, just stop. So remember you can say you've cleared enough now, can you just hold back a while while you while you have a break from it all? But uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll send you some e-links, some energy, to try and clear, clear what, 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 what it's actually done. Because normally what you do, you normally do it dead, dead slow, you normally open the door of your past life, release all the past life residue, and then once that's, that's been sorted, you then you open another door, and then you sort all that. But you've basically opened all the doors in the same time, and it's, it's like a, a small hole with loads of residue trying to get through. And uh, yeah. remember, this could be every every life you've ever had as well as other multi-universe lives so it could be a colossal thing that's the fact yeah so yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll what i'll do is i'll try and adjust that if i can and i'll try and send the healing okay all right just uh relax and let us know what you feel and i am What this has done is, um, well, number one, it's worn you down quite a bit, your immune system and everything. Um, what I, what Father is doing now is he's placing this energy, Raphael's green emerald energy, into your torso, but he also is placing this his energy in your heart mm. it's like a white diamond light into your heart muscle and as this energy is pouring into your heart muscle it's turning into molten gold so that every time your heart beats and it pumps out molten gold into every artery of your body so it's as your heart beats, it's pumping this warmth through your body of gold, golden energy. It's healing every organ. So you're going to start feeling this warmth pumping through. You're going to start, your whole body's going to warm up. Start spreading from your heart into your stomach and your chest and up into your neck and down your legs and into your face. And it's going to start healing every organ in your body your brain, your muscles, your tendons, and it's going to heal every bit of you. You're going to start feeling this warmth pouring through. And this energy is eventually going to come out through your chakras, out through your, your crown, and heal all your outside, your causal bodies, and align your chakras, and heal everything. You feel that warmth going through you now? So this is going to go on for six days and this beautiful molten gold energy is just going to continually pump through your body and just continually heal through you. Did you know you were an aspect of Mary Magdalene? Yes and no. <laughs> yes and no? Uh, yes and no, I suppose, if I'd stopped to... Thank you. Yeah, a bit too much um, spiritual bungee jumping, healing bungee yeah. jumping. Or <laughs> well, you're you're going to be feeling so much better. You'll start feeling better as the hours go by, and then by tomorrow, you're going to feel so much better. Be amazing. I'm 
Can't wait to get running in the hills again. <laughs> yes, so you are an aspect of Mary Mac. I'm not sure what that means to me, but... <laughs> well, it, it just means that um, you're one of her reincarnations. There's a few of you on the Earth. Mm. There's, a few, there's, there's a few Jesuses, too. Yeah, he's a popular guy. <laughs> <laughs> there's Archangel Michael, there's a Raphael, there's a... <laughs> Quite the gathering. <laughs> there's, uh, there's, there's, uh, you know, you're one of the volunteers, but you're from her line. You're one of Mary Magdalene's. Hmm. Who does that make my puppy, my dog, yes. being? <laughs> uh, who does that make my dog? You have a sense of that. Here you go. Come here. Do you have anything, Phil? Yeah, uh, the reason why it was more difficult for you uh, was there was a blockage, an art chakra blockage. So you yeah. pulled everything in, right. but you weren't ready to pull everything in because you needed to sort this life out <laughs> first. Yeah. yeah. So, an art, did you know it was an art chakra blockage? Um, all I know is as soon as I got on this Zoom call, I could feel my heart chakra completely activated. And I, th I thought that there was a heart chakra blockage because um, my entire chest thorax last year just fused, basically, and wouldn't move my mm. ribs and everything. And I knew that it was around the heart chakra. Mm. And that it was being really constricted and I also knew that it was about opening it. I just, uh, I didn't know how to do it and I think I was in so much pain. I just kept leaving my body and I, I, I couldn't really be in it to mm. to do what needed to be done, if that mm. makes sense. Uh, Art, uh, art I had a, a blockage in my heart and that was a curse on my, when I was a Mayan. So I actually came into this world without my art chakra basically working very well. So uh, right. that's why, so what you've done is you've had a problem with your art chakra and you've also released all your previous life's residue, for, but you weren't equipped to actually do that because you needed to sort this art chakra. And that's what, why uh, people sort out past lives one at a time because they don't actually know what each one's going to be like some can be really really bad uh, mm. deb just mentioned uh jesus i was actually a dark jesus did you know that Deb? <laughs> no oh, i was a dark jesus not not a good one but a bad one if you can get that so uh and things like that have got residue and you've got to just clear them uh, one at a time but i wouldn't try and do all of them yeah, especially if you've got a blockage because it can uh, create habit because you're basically sending all that energy all in one go and I, I could actually see I actually I, I think I could actually see like a, a energy trying to get through and because it, because there's a blockage mm. each residue is clamping and blocking and blocking and, and it's it's just like pulling you apart basically but that's been that's been released a bit now so I don't think you'll feel good right now. You might do actually, but I think, as Deb said, I think as as it's clearing, you should be okay. I've also tried to slow it down as well. Thank you. So I've put like a limiter on it, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, which you can do. Yeah. Okay, for me, crown chakra. Mm -hmm. Do you want a card, by the way? Sure, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Deb and Sophie said we're not going to do cards. I'm saying we are. <laughs> I said because they take up too much time for this. Yes, thank okay. you. Tell us when to when, stop. Stop. Okay. Ah, music. Okay. The into music. 
Um, more and more. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, uh, Thank you so much. Well, no, one sec. I'm, I'm just trying to trying to think about what what happens is that that music means the the angels are basically saying to you that bring more music into your life. It's not the music that you need; it's the frequency that you need to heal. So you bring the music, and when you do bring the music, have intent uh, for this frequency that you create to heal, heal you more, to help you in your journey. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we have next person, Wilma Hart, for a body scan. Wilma? Hi. Hello, Wilma. Hello. You want some healing as well, Wilma? Yeah, just uh, a yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yes, is there any, yeah. anything particular? Or should we just... Yes, yes. Uh, I have neuropathy in my lower legs. Right, okay. Right, just relax. We must say something again, so we can get you front and center. Oh, and okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, darling. Thank you. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Deb. And you found an attachment. Got attachment on the bottom of your spine, right above your root chakra. A lost soul. His name is Willie. William Willie, but he goes by Willie. Will Willie. That's funny because it's close to my name. <laughs> Mother Mary, she's going to help me. And what I'm doing is I'm speaking to him telepathically and explaining to him that I mean, he was attracted to your light, which is why he attached to you. It's almost like a false light. quite a bit of discomfort in my third eye at the moment. I'm explaining to him to make his God spark in his heart as, as large as the light that he saw in your, around you. He's not so afraid to let go.
he's willing to go with Mother Mary now. He's detaching him, he's going. Okay, now we're gonna do some healing on your spine. He's gone. And your hips and your spine need to be adjusted. I think you have a pain, a pinched nerve. Yes, I see an osteopath regularly. You may see, feel some heat or vibration uh, along your whole spine and uh, across your hips as uh, Father does this healing. He's correcting the nerves. I also have some stiff forward, they're like contusions, I guess they call them, or arthritis in your back as well. You make an adjustment in your hips. going across your shoulders and your neck and all the way down your back. Down into your thighs and your knees, down into your ankles. energy will stay with you for another six days. Do you have anything to add to that, Bill? Uh, yeah, a couple of things. Uh, Wilma, what do you actually do spiritually? My light Good question. <laughs> yeah. um, I, um, I channel a lot of light language. Mm. Um, I send, um, I send healing mm -hmm. uh, energetically. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that question. I just know that I kind of like, <laughs> like I do a lot, but I can't tell you what it is because I don't know. The reason, the reason I ask is there's a tricks to energy trying to connect to you. So when you do connect to these, uh, to the beings, just in intuition, use intuition to see exactly who you connect him because he was there was a dark energy trying to connect to you and okay. that that's why you had a, a, a funny sensation on your third eye and that's yeah. that's it's it's been cut basically uh it's also affected some of your chakra balances when you do it do you you don't ground yourself after i would just start grounding yourself after okay okay yeah. Anyway, I, I do an ALO, pretend is an ALO and just ground it, but you can do the, the tree method. Uh, and if you meditate, I, how I, what, what's great is, imagine your, your chakras in a figure of eight, energy figure of eight, and try and connect them all up so they're running nice and nice and smooth. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I, I think that trick's energy quite rapid. And the, every, anyone can be filled with these. Uh, they can be, tend to be Archangel Michael. I've, I've noticed the best have actually been tricked. So uh, there was one, but the others were okay. There was just one that was uh, draining you a bit by, by doing it. So whoever you were connecting, it was draining you into one. So use your intuition and then just cut, cut it and then 
program your aura field to make sure this doesn't it doesn't happen again. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Do you want a, do you want a card? Yes, please. I didn't really. I, I, it's very difficult when someone's very skillful at things to actually say that. <laughs> but uh, I'm used to it now. So, right, tell us when to stop. Your love language is great, by the way. Thank um, you. Uh, yeah. One of the best. How, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just told. Oh, okay. Uh, and this is. Uh, Freedom. That's what we all need, actually. <laughs> we all need this card, I think. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> I actually feel I am free. I do feel I have freedom. That's great because sometimes despite you might the feel, fact, yeah, yeah you so might, despite yeah. the fact the city's just been put in lockdown, I still feel free. I don't care. I'm happy. What one of them cards are basically saying is if you ever do feel a bit trapped spiritually or whatever, you've got all the keys inside you to to uh, release yourself from it. You've got all that. Yes. Which you probably yes. already know. Actually. Yes. <laughs> I mean, not very good the, the, that I enjoy. Not very good card, is it? You already know it. But that's great. It's my fault. I told you when to stop. <laughs> okay. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Okay, hi all. We have um, Wendy next. Um, she wanted a body scan for her husband, Bob. Hi, you guys. Here I have Bob right here, actually. He's in pain and laying down. Here you go, Bob. Hello. Hello. Hi, Bob. Can you see. put this so you can see? No, no, I can't see. Well, you can see your face right there, so we need to see. We need to see you. Yeah, you can stay where you are, Bob. It's okay. As long as I can see your face, we can see your energy. Oh, good. So, where's the pain in the back? Uh, lower back. Yeah. Is, is Wendy done that? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, he, like, he wants to blame me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll send you some healing then. Wendy, talk so I can get back to Bob. Oh, you're on mute. Oh, now you're good. <laughs> Try it again, Wendy. Unmute. Sorry okay. about that. Here you go. There, Have a conversation. You. Okay, well. Say hi. How are you today? How are you today? <laughs> okay. Visiting my pants on something. Mm -hmm. Actually, laying down is a very bad position to be in. You have a cyst in your lower back. You have a cyst. Really? Yes. Is yes, this something do. detectable? Here, hang on. sitting right up against a nerve yeah sits don't show up on x-rays only on MRIs oh. and on and on uh -huh. and on uh, ultrasounds My energy's in there too.
It's in a weird spot. It's not on the spine. It's like in between. That makes sense. Weird, just like Bob. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, not, it's like where the, the, I don't know where, it's not on the bone or anything. It's in between. But it's, it's, it's big enough. It's like, it's kind of like it festered. So it's like red and infected inside. And it's like, is it a, could it be a bulging disc? Well, it's probably up against a bulging disc. So it's now it irritated it, which is why you're in so much pain. But we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that. So I want to just relax. You may feel some warmth or maybe a little vibration. First thing you have to do is relax. Try to relax. Do you have pillows underneath the knees? Do you have pillows underneath the knees? Yeah, he's literally laying down on the floor on this little cushion. Are his knees up? His knees are, no, they're crossed. Don't cross your legs. Put, his, put pillows underneath his knees to take the pressure off his back. Yeah. Directions. <laughs> pillows underneath his knees. Okay. Got it. Lift up your knees one more time. There you go. Is that better? Yeah, I'm not in. I'm not in any serious pain right now. Um, it seems oh to gosh. be uh, something that develops later in the day, in the night, um, as you wind down and yes. things. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, because it festers at night. It gets, yeah, I understand. Okay. It doesn't have attachments or anything. It's just like, see where it is. All right, his back is. <sighs> you can see Phil in there too. Mm. So funny. <laughs> Wendy, have you? I think you did mention something, but I, I didn't get it. Have you been trying to clear his past life? Yeah. I'm. I'm seeing him on a horseback in knight's gear. And he's just been killed. A what? You were in night's gear and you were just killed. Sorry, oh, honey. Wow. <laughs> From your back. And it's like the energy stuck with you. Yeah, because is, it's, mm, yeah. As soon as he started getting that pain, I said, you know what? Everybody I know has been clearing past lives. And I think whatever this is, is a past life that's come up to be cleared. And so I've been, um, I've only worked on him a couple times and it helps. Like uh, it, it'll help him that night and he'll be able to sleep. And then in the morning he'll like get up and he'll be able to move, but he's it's still in pain, right? He's struggling to get up and move and then he'll get through the day, but he's, you can just see him grimacing throughout the day. And then at night it's, it's bad again. So that's where he's been the last that's week, where, two weeks. That's where the wound is, is right where that he's talking about. That's where mm. that sits. So it's almost like it, 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 when you say it festers at night, um, it, like I said, I said, it festers at night. It's probably at nighttime when that accident happened, right? Or what the, where he died. So it's not, so now we need to clear that. So Ground that, it as well. Yeah. Yeah knows how to ground go ahead and start to ground just accept wendy. that wound and breathe in. yes w wendy what, he, what he's got to do he's got to just 
say it, he might not believe all what I'm saying, but he's got to give himself, he's got to give the person who killed him forgiveness. He's got to forgive him for doing that. He's got to forgive himself and collect the fractal, uh, his soul fractal from there. So he's got to give himself love from when he died in that thing. He, he's just got to do it by intent. He doesn't even have to visualize it. So he's got to give himself love. So he collects his soul fragment, he releases it, and he, he can imagine it going to the ground. Just grab, or go into source. Source is better. Let, let the p pain of that life go to source and transmute it from, with violet flame. Yeah, I'll transmute it with violet flames. I'll give, I'll send him some violet flame energy. You doing that now? So I forgive the person who killed me. Yes, forgive the person who killed you. Forgive yourself for putting yourself in that situation. And forgive myself for being killed. And love my and yeah. You picture yourself that that's your soul going to the light. What's happened? You died and you didn't realize you died. It might be a friend that killed you and you didn't expect it. You died very violently, very quickly, and you had a trauma from that life. Mm. Wow. So then just go ahead and release that soul back up to the light. It's the soul, it's still the same soul you're in, but. But it's that fractal. All right, so, now, it's a part now, I can, so. now I can see that, that your cyst is going away. And sending in the violet flame now. The violet flame is around you. And I'm hearing it's done. Yes, it's done. Unless, um, unless things come up, I wouldn't bring up the past. Unless things actually come up, don't try and clear things. It's yeah, and the only reason, yeah, the only reason I was trying to clear it is because it did come up, and so otherwise uh, we weren't doing anything like, oh, let's clear out some past lives. Because yeah. if I'm not even a specific killing session yeah. and something comes up, yes. um, I'm not, trust me, I'm not looking for it because that same kind of thing like what happened to Phil happened to me where I had multiple lives trying to be cleared at one time and that's yes. not fun to have to go through. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I, and, and this is for generally everybody. It, just because people have are clearing past lives, don't try to go in and bring something up. It has right. A lot. Exactly. <laughs> There's no reason to. How about this little guy? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Uh, say hi. Uh, you say cheese. 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 Yeah, that's like a great grandma. Mm -hmm. I am a great grandma. I am a great grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm her nannies, Nani and Papa are grandkids. Okay, Bob. Do you, do you feel the healing yeah. in your back? Um, actually, the, it's very interesting because I was actually I could feel it, um, you know, kind of travel down my leg a little bit. Yeah. And prior to this starting, um, I was feeling it like in the in in my in my groin, and now I I don't. I don't feel that pressure that's there. I, I know the way it was touching on a nerve. Yeah, this healing stays with you for our, all the healing that we do, that Phil and I do, stays for six days. So, it only gets better and better. I'll drink some water just after this, anyway. Yeah, I'll drink a and always, pint, pint of water. Yeah, and always bless your water. 
before you drink it. So it, it's purified and brings you love inside. Mm -hmm. Like we mm -hmm. did explained earlier. Yeah. That's but you good. you'll feel so much better. So I, I was a bad night. <laughs> did you hear him? Yeah, you, you might, you might have done. I'm, I'm not sure. All I can see is you got stabbed in the back. It could be a friend. You just don't know. Oh. But you, you create, you had a trauma from it. Just dying in battle is oh. normal. So you wouldn't have had a trauma dying in battle. You, you had a trauma because of how it, how you died very quickly, and and you didn't expect to. Unexpectedly. And, and you would have, you would have been angry with it. So you, you carried mm. that. Yeah. So. Well, I'm not sure. What, I, I'm not sure when. I just know a night because he had that mm -hmm. armor on. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks well, a lot. Do you have a card for him or for me? I forgot. One for one for you. Yours. You can do. You can do. You can do just Bob if you want. Either way. Yeah. I can do. I can Bob. do one each if you want. One. <laughs> Well, okay, I'll have him do it, and then I'll do it right behind. Like, you okay. Just his, his. So you tell him when to stop. Stop what? He's doing cards, so oh. when he's she's shuffling, so you tell oh. him when to stop. Uh, stop. Uh, divine guidance. I think that speaks itself, really, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Mm. Basically, your prayers will be answered in universal law. So, wow. So you, hopefully you're back to go and uh, your spirit now old and uh, it's all been repaired and everything. Mm, good. I go on Wendy. I'll, 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 Thank you. Uh, do you want a card? Yes, please. <laughs> that was that was not. It's, it's, quickly before Sophie tells yes. me. Yes, that's fast. fast. <laughs> Just say three words about it. <laughs> you know, I'm, I, that's a tarot book. <laughs> oh, stop. You got the, you got the tarot book. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I, 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 I've been shuffling that. Uh, my God, ow. You got divine guidance. <laughs> <laughs> I shuffled them well. <laughs> so, there you go. I'm going to yep. Bob's going to go buy his lottery ticket now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't believe I paid the same thing. Look, he's up and about. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Is that better yeah. already? Hmm? Oh, yes. That's that's immediate gratification is what that is. So talk about divine intervention. Thank you, guys. You're very, very much appreciated. Thank you, Wendy. Thanks. Love to you. You're welcome. Okay, next we have um, Janine. She has a photo of Whitney. She has her permission so she can show that um, to you guys and um, she wants a healing for Whitney from a picture. Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, I only found out yesterday. Um, she has a... This is her. Can you see it? Yeah. The light. That's her first. Um, she's a gardener now. She's growing her own food. She's just started opening up this year. She's so dynamic and so needed and such a good mother to my little grandbabies that are special children in their own. But she said she had her mammogram and they found something and the doctor's worried about it and got to do a... I don't. I didn't okay. even ask what breast. That's okay. Can you hold it up again, sweetie? Yes. Chip it. There yeah, you go. Yeah, right there. Thank you. Left breast. That's good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Got it.
She's gonna be fine. <laughs> I keep saying this to her. I'm trying to keep myself highly in the love zone with my angels. <clears throat> She's just five hours away. Yeah. And you just feel so helpless. My son's about to lose his mind, so they are panicked and I'm trying to talk her down, but so Yeah, go into fear. That's okay. okay. Um she's got the uh, healing in her. It's been last for six days. I'll let Phil talk his thing, but um what I saw doesn't uh doesn't show cancer. Yay. Go ahead, Phil. Yeah, no, I would try and get her to be more positive, positive yeah. mindset, because okay. you can actually manifest stuff just by thinking you've got stuff. If you think you haven't got stuff, then you're manifesting not to have stuff. So, yeah, I've, I've given her, I wasn't sure, I wasn't 100%, so I've given her some crystal source energy. This is like a blueprint of, of, the, the, of us, it's our blueprint. So if she need if she if she's got anything uh, wrong, it'll it'll attract. It will actually. It's got like intelligence, and it'll start healing. So uh, see you later. Thank you. Okay. He said um, she knows I do this, and she she understands when I when I talk to her about it. I think uh, David for her birthday I got David to do. Uh, session with her David Starr so she's learning and she loves it so you said seven days Deb six or seven days six. Six. she's got six days ours, ours lasts about six days fills in our, whatever we do is always okay. in stays there for six days oh, okay I feel better uh, immediately yeah uh, I have like it's like an energy cord a link to us so it stays for six or seven days yeah yeah. And it just it just um, it, it, it just blood. stays stays in her and just kind of fades into the you know I don't know how you describe it it just it's absorbed it's right? absorbed yeah. into you. Oh. Well, that's wonderful. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> I wanted to. I knew you guys could do it and. Can't think I, I, I was I was actually going to channel cannabis oil energy, but then I was told to do crystal source energy, so I, I changed. Do you want me, me to do a card for her? And you can say stop. Sure, she'll love it. Yeah, that's good. Stop. <laughs> Divine guidance. <laughs> that was a shuffle that was a proper shuffle I might say I'll leave this one out next time uh, so basically uh, a prayer's answered basically uh, she's a good I card will, I will calm her down a little and she will, mm. that will help a lot thank you so much good to see you Janine <sighs> good to see you guys <laughs> thank you thank you no, thank you, Janine. Um, next, we got Rhonda. Um, she would like a body scan for herself and uh, then having a card reading for herself. She'd like one for Robin. So, before you do the body scan, I just wanted to add a little preface that um, I have had many, many wonderful connections and antenna going way far high, which I'm very grateful for. Um, and I think I had some negative connection, but I have, I believe I have gotten rid of all of that um, as far as the connection, like a because I allowed it. I didn't mean to, but I was, I, I was told everything was only going to be love and light coming through. So I didn't know I needed to discern. Anyway, 
I'm still learning, still learning here. Um, so anyway, uh, I was just hoping to to see if the the negative. Um, I shouldn't say negative. They're all our brothers and sisters. However, I don't like them here. Okay, so um, I'm just let's yeah. So no connection. Conda, uh, since the last time you were on, because you had a portal and some sort of uh, gremlin in the house. Yes, is it we did. Best, is it improved now? Absolutely, that is completely done. That is completely mm. over and done. So, Got rid of it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. There were some other wonderful experiences and learning things that happened, which we're <laughs> so grateful for. Look, but, Rhonda, um, but this now it's now you've told me it's gone. Shall I tell you exactly what happened? Yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm almost it, scared <laughs> it was a, a red eye little like gremlin demon i created a portal and the portal had teeth i've never seen anything like it and we threw the uh, we threw the well we, we both threw the gremlin into the portal so we didn't kill it really and then we closed it so it can't it work it is now stuck somewhere it, it, if you if you get what i mean it won't be in this 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 uh dimension but it had red eyes it was quite nasty little thing and it had magic it had magic that's it it it, it could it could uh pretend to be anyone near enough wow so, so it was quite something i've never met before but uh well aren't we the lucky ones uh, yes <laughs> chose you <laughs> Where can I ask if you remember where was the portal? Where was it? Was it in the bathroom? Uh, uh, we do tend to be near water, don't we? It's it, it, it's been you know you've slept since then. Don't don't worry. It's, it's you, been... you you actually know where it was. Yeah, it's been told. You knew where that was in the house. Hmm? I did. Okay. Obviously, you do. I guess I do. Yeah. So. I, okay. I'm gonna. I guess I'll have to think about it then. The place that you would like to avoid. That certain area, that little spot. Yeah. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> I. I. I know. Somewhere around here that you don't like to be. I didn't know that there was a spot in here I didn't like. Sorry. <laughs> It might have been the spot that you did like. <laughs> <laughs> it's clever. It was clever. So. Oh my. Oh my. Well, shoo. Good. Gone. Thank you. So you, you want you want some healing and you want So I I I have done the work and I believe that I have gotten rid of all of the connections um that were associated with this new thing right and um uh just some very interesting stuff happening but uh i need more discernment and uh i'm still learning so uh, yeah what uh i just wanted to kind of check my homework make sure everything is is good and there's only um, direct lines to high beings of love and light okay. and heart chakra cleared. I just relax. I'll send you some healing on that. Wow.
Rhonda? Yes. And Jesus, he says that um, now you're afraid to you're afraid to trust yourself. I'm. I thought that I had been working on it, and then this happened. Yeah. And uh, now it's like, okay, I don't know what, where the F to go, quite honestly. Yeah, he said that now, now you're back to where you're, you're afraid. You yeah. don't have your own instincts anymore. And he doesn't want you to be that way. This was a very, very different type of trickster energy. And he wants you to remember that you still have your angels, your own guides. You still have the archangels. You still have Jesus and the ascended masters that you can call in and you and you and to trust them and trust your own you yourself. You have your own power. You know all the keys to unlock inside of yourself. Yes. You can't remember you and your strengths. Don't let this one energy or demon this to you thank you i'm i i will uh come through i know i will i know i have to there's nothing to heal you it's only up here yeah yes get back in your heart and um know that you still have all your instincts that those haven't gone away don't let this one instance do that for you. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And I appreciate those words. I I, I need them right now. You still have anybody work. else around you. Yeah. You still have us. You still have us. We still have your back. We still love you. We still are here. Thank you. You still have your everybody you still around. You still have your protectors too. Your guides. You still have your army yes and and i appreciate that and uh yes um i i'm i'm gonna work through it i will go i will you know forge ahead i have to yeah uh, it's been i have wonderful gifts you do and abilities now everybody does yes everyone has we all have to remember that we every it's inside of us. We don't have to go out yeah. outside of anything. We yeah. don't have to pay for anything. It's all free. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And um, thank you for letting me know. I appreciate that. Ah, very good. Thank shall you. I shall, I tell you. shall I tell you as well now? Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. An aspect of yours, anyone wants to connect. I'm not allowed to say where or when he's from, or he's she's from. I believe <laughs> you've got to, you've got to find that. But it actually says you need to connect with nature more. Okay. Interesting. I was just out today in a huge forest. Mm. I was there. Okay. I I will. Interesting. But you can connect to it. Keep me posted. It's quite a big one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. 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 I appreciate that. And Thank do you. Want, do you want the card? I hate those teases. I know. <laughs> it's your it's job to find just, them. The app, the app yeah. that, that you've, you've basically been back down a little bit because it yeah. makes you think more. It, it makes you learn and, and realize that not everything is white, I suppose, and white. Right. Right, and and I am learning. I'm still I'm still at that, you know. Mm. At, at, at the end of the day, a, a dark demonic isn't going to represent themselves as a demon to you. They'll represent themselves as an angel. Yep, that's what they do. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. So how how do I tell the energies? How do I tell? Like if I see this white light. What about um, me? How, how do you tell a frequency and energy by feeling it? Feeling it. 
<laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. Are we allowed to? Oh, yeah. Blessings. There you go. Ah, oh, very good. Nice. Well, can't, can't, can't get much Thank better you. than that. I love that. Thank you. The way I tell, if you vibrate or if it's really, if you're hot, it's good energy. If you feel heaviness in your chest, it's bad energy. Okay. But by the time it gets there, you're feeling heaviness. It's too damn late. You, no, uh, they don't have but, to get that close to you. Okay. Okay. That, Maybe that's that blessings means you're getting extra help. So you're getting help during this journey at the moment. So. Good. Thank you. God knows. Philip, a card reading was for uh, Robin. So if you can just do one for Robin, please. Yep. Hello, everyone. Hi, hey, Robin. Hello. Oh, thank you, guys. Really appreciate you and Welcome. letting me come on again. Uh, well, this time, I, I appreciate it. Oh, well. I'm just All right, stop. Serenity. 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 What is it? We couldn't read it. Serenity. Ah, okay. And that basically, I'd say peace of mind is within you. Yeah. I, I, that, okay. Do you accept that? Yeah, by the way, everyone, it's five pound a card reading, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Joking. <laughs> right. Did, did, did you get that, Serenity? Yes. Peace yes. of mind. Yes. I, I can, I can <laughs> kind of relate to that. Yes. I just got back from a, a retreat in Colorado where we hiked a mountain with a. Uh, uh, shaman we did some uh, uh, medicine and it was quite amazing I haven't been back but a few days and it was a very good experience and so when you say peace of mind it kind of hits right the nail on the hammer I wish I was in Colorado right now in the mountains <laughs> you gotta love that 115 yeah. <laughs> oh god First time of being in a desert area like that, and it was not what I expected, but it was beautiful. So, great experience. So, thank you, and um, thank you all for everything you've done. Thank you. Hey, okay, thank you. Um, next, we've got Reverend Dr. Maz. It could be Maz. Uh, would she would like a body scan for herself and one for her daughter? Hello. Uh, you want some healing? That would be awesome. And my daughter um, won't be necessary because she's not here right now since I put that up. It changed a little. Okay. Thanks. You, you, you actually, you've got like a glow, more of a glow now than you last time I saw you. Yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate that. That's why we were coming back trying to get more. It's working. <laughs> Let's see. How many fire detectors need new batteries? I don't know where that's coming from. I've been hearing it the whole time. Until right now. That's a bird. It's going to be a, sorry. Anything new on you? I can't hear you. I don't, I'm not getting anything new for you other than maybe a sinus. Is there something I can do to uh, clear it up? Because between sinus? that and my, the inflammatory after effects of the, uh, healing that's happening on the central nervous system is kind of like flaring up like usual so I was just wondering if I should stick to my usual remedy or seek some other type of uh, inflammatory assistance on a regular basis because why it's flushing all the you know we're healing so 
the inflammation is coming back that I was born with oh. pretty regularly and I'm trying to keep it down because that's what makes it hard to walk and all the other stuff I can't do when it happens <laughs> that we don't have to go into <laughs> yeah yeah Or maybe my CPAP is creating it. I'm not sure if I need to fix it or. Do you put? Do you have a humidifier on your CPAP? Uh huh. And it seems in, like it. You're putting distilled water in it? Uh huh. But sometimes it seems like it's accidentally putting water in my nose or something, and I don't know why. That could be the culprit. I'm just trying to figure it out so it'll stop stopping me up. How old is your CPAP? Um, about a year old. No, it's a red, red. red. It's supposed to be the top of the line, but yeah, you may it, may it may have to be adjusted if it's putting water in your nose. I think you uh, need to call them. There's something wrong. Is that what's creating this stuffy well, thing? You shouldn't be on? getting yeah. You shouldn't be getting water in your nose. Um, I was wondering if that's what was causing the, uh, you know, the sudden uh, your sinuses. Effort in my chest and my lungs and my nose is it related to the CPAP or is it something no there's something in no there's something in the air huh something in the air just are you seeing chemtrails a lot of chemtrails um it feels like it when we walk outside in the morning and we sit out a lot well I sit out almost all day every day in the nature Camp trails. Mm -hmm. There's just in the air causing allergies. Yeah, it almost feels like I have a new allergy I never had before because I've never experienced it like this. It's almost like I'm getting a tickle in my throat from it. Yeah, it's hard to explain. It's almost like if you're allergic to grass, but you didn't used to be, and all of a sudden it makes you get, <clears throat> you know, like stopped up in your throat, like raspy, almost like ragweed maybe or something. <clears throat> Even my eyes are getting itchy. I mean, it's almost like yeah. It's making my eyes itch and everything. Sorry, I don't want you to. No, feel I, it. Yeah, it makes I just, me hot. That might be Raphael. Thanks, Raphael. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's warm. trying to determine where it's coming from, whether it's in the air or a plant. Mm. It's, it's even doing healing. It, it, if we do healing, it's, it's going to come back if it's something in the air that they're spraying. Mm. It's, it's not plant, inside our house, is it? No, no, it's not inside your house. Good. That's comforting. Father's saying it's temporary. It, this is only going to be temporary. Oh, um, okay. Well, that's good. No. So, I mean, we can do healing, but it may you may have the symptoms come back, but it it's only temporary for this year. 
maybe, oh, okay. the, maybe the rest of this year, but it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be all the time. Um, whatever that means. Okay, well I can deal with that. It's better than forever. <laughs> but you may you may have to get your machine looked at because you shouldn't be getting water in your nose. You okay. may just need an adjustment. Whoever um, takes care of your your machine has uh-huh. them have them adjust it or okay i would call them because it's you know it should be under your warranty it's oh like yeah that. yeah it's supposed to last i think four to ten years something crazy yeah. like that yeah because it was that super when it first came out model anyway yeah. thank you so much but yeah your sinuses um need and your respiratory need uh, some healing so just give me a minute and i'm sure phil has something thank you Bill? Yeah, how do you feel now? Um, I'm excited because I know over the next six days it'll continue to heal. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes sometimes layers to peel back old onions like me, but eventually we get there and then the roots will be flowing again. <laughs> <laughs> but how, how, do you, how, how do you actually feel in the last 10 minutes? Is it any change or is it uh, the same? Oh yeah, I feel real relaxed. You know, like I can feel the heat, the warmth of the mm-hmm. uh, healing vibes coming through. Mm-hmm. Um, I heard birds chirping in the background, and you know, it felt very nice and welcoming, as in a um, healing energy mm-hmm. vibe. Thank you for that. I was saying thanks, Raphael. In case you didn't hear me while they were, <laughs> you know, because I appreciate it. I felt it flowing through, and I appreciate that very much. I was uh, channeling uh, energies of uh, edible seaweed and sea salt. So I was channeling the energy essence of these. So it, uh, might, be, it, it might be worth actually getting these. I'm not a, an herbalist or anything like that, but uh, it might be worth getting these two uh, things. Okay. Seaweed and sea salt. salt. Sea, sea salt. salt. That's funny because I used to just jump in the ocean and I'd feel better, but we don't have one up here. So, you know, you can get both at the beach, but you can't get it up here. You mean get fresh ones? Well, you edible, get, uh, edible. edible seaweed is you can get it on eBay. It's very inexpensive. My oh. great granddaughter, that's her favorite snack, believe it or not, huh. edible seaweed. I'll try that. Thanks. Yeah, don't, don't try any at the sea. At the sea. <laughs> I didn't know which one you meant. I was like, let me make sure now, because different st- ones do different things. Mm. Okay, thanks. Okay. Did I get a serious talk show? Okay, thanks, Barbara. You want a card? Sure. What would you say? It was five bucks to spend something you said a minute ago. <laughs> I'm ago. joking. I know, just messing with you. It's, it's gone up 10 now. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. It's a night shift. <laughs> I is better. Okay. Ready? That, yeah. yeah. Um, and Dr. Mraz, uh, you said something about interviewing us, and yes, you can. Um, oh, yeah. I thought it'd be so much fun to share with people what it's like that um, to be on this side of what you do. As sure. a fellow healer, to me, it's just awesome. And I, that's what we really want to do is to help people heal emotions and I think the more we can all talk about it more honestly and admit that we're all human we need help too sometimes because it's hard healing others you end up get wore out you need to get rebooted and what else to do but call on friends and be like can I get a boost and you're like yes <laughs> but you know hey it helps get yeah. through so yeah, I appreciate contact it contact us at um, I think she put up uh, Sophie put up our information uh, yeah, and we wanted yeah, to know if we could set up a private, um, more like a private consultation so we don't suck up too much of your time with all the other people who need you on, on board right now. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thank great. you. Thank you. Uh, the, card, the card again is blessings, which means you're getting help off the, I mean, you're getting more help from, from them. But not. Yay. It's about time. Thank you for yeah. that. But you, you do look, uh, you look better than what I saw you yeah. last time. You definitely yeah. you got a lot of this. Thank you. That's good mm. news. They were gonna do the scans of my tumors and all that to see if they shrunk back down again, but you didn't even see them now, did you? No. 
that means my oil work Woo and the prayers and healing thanks y'all appreciate that can't wait to go look at the x-ray and see it missing i'm gonna see i'm gonna say see i told y'all it works um we have a uh, burra next and she would like a body scan i think that she they just said um i don't know if they're still here i just wanted to see if you can um check me again and scan my head here has been throbbing all day really bad and last time you um you guys helped me with the uh the bean that was in my eye and all of that stuff so i still feel re pressure on my head and my throat and all of that so i was just wondering if you can um scan me and, and see what was your first name again gloria bora bora oh, bora i'm yeah. sorry have you got pain in your shoulder here? Yeah, my right shoulder is really bad. Like, yeah, I, I can feel it now. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm, not, I'm not even scanning out. I can actually, it's actually coming yeah. in straight into me. me. Okay, uh, just relax. I'll try and clear that one. I, I, I believe you have an attachment as well. Yeah, I think I feel like I have a couple of attachments. Yeah. Um I think you may be right. I've been sending my Archangel Michael energy through too as well, but Thank you. Appreciate for extra help. Thank you. Thank you. It gets really bad in the nighttime when I'm trying to sleep. It feels like I'm wearing like a metal. Yeah, um, one of them is um, is not a good energy, and that's why I'm trying to. Um... Phil, can you do you see what I'm seeing? I don't know. What are you <laughs> <laughs> She's got a couple of attachments. One of them, I, I believe, is um, uh, a negative. Hmm. That's, that's what I believe I I'm not sure. I more like very low vibration. She's probably negative. Huh? Well, it's not a good thing. I'm just sending sending it low. Breaks the barriers. Not evil. Well, no, but it's um it's around her neck and the hood area, but it's not it keeps avoiding me, so I can't really pinpoint it down. I've just found out what its, what its job was. So, so sorry. Really, my head is really hurting. So if you're feeling anything... I know, I know. Sorry. But he's... I'm, I'm sorry if you're feeling any um, really uh, pain. Sorry. It, it's... um. This is so weird. It's a negative being from a past life. And it's, you're like stuck together. It was, uh, have you ever done a past life? Um, I tried once to do a past life regression two years ago, but it didn't go very, as it didn't go as, as expected, we we'll say. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm picking up that you, you actually had your head cut off in France and the being that's actually with you is the person who did it. I did. Can you say, say that one more time, please? You, you, uh, you had your head cut off in the late 1700s in France. 
Okay. And the, the being that's actually with you is the being that actually cut your head off. The, the, the executioner from that period is the person that's attached to you. That's the negative. That's the that's the ne negative being because obviously he did a lot. Uh, I just don't know how I'm going to do this. Sorry. Okay. No, I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to work work out how, how's he attached himself to. Is it is he sorry? He's laughing at me. I hear that a lot too in my headspace. Yes. We're all praying together here, for sure. To break someone that's got like evil minded, you send you send it love. Love. He's telling me he was his name was Ferdinand the Great. Ferdinand the Great. Fer Ferdinand, Ferdinand the Great. Don't forget, don't forget who I am. Don't forget who I am. Spanging his chest. Wow. Mm. Ever forget who I am? You mm. have no control. You have no power. It's, that's what he's yelling. Hmm. So you go into your heart and you send him love, and that's why he's getting so angry because he doesn't want the love. But the more love you send. I've been trying to, I've been working on myself and in my own way and doing all of that, but it's really difficult and it's really hard. Oh, Jesus is here. Because this, these energies, they're really, they're really messing, really, really hammering me. I don't know how to say it. And it's mostly my head and my stomach, or, you know, like my whole, I just feel it, my, my heart space. It feels like it's crashing, like someone is just crashing my heart, like from the back or something. Like just, I, I don't know, ripping. Yeah. Feels like you, okay, it, um, I want you to focus on love too, because that's what he needs. He needs love. So that we can we can um, take him to the light. That's what we need, we're trying to do is bring him to the light. He's he's weakening. <laughs> he just said, "No, I'm not." He's not banging his chest anymore. Everybody's focusing on love in the room. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're all holding space. Able to divide them now, though. Yeah, uh, he's crying at the end. Uh, I asked Ariel, uh, Ariel, Ariel, Ariel to help, and he'll, he'll, he's gone now. But he, he'll have help. Yeah. <sighs> that was difficult. She's got one more. Or back. Mm hmm. This one's not, this one's not from the past. I'll, I'll heal you back, back, uh, back, back now. Uh.
okay, Jesus took, it was an um, older woman, um, quite elderly actually. Her name was Gertrude. She went to the light with Jesus. So we removed all of the um, attachments now. We're down to healing on all those areas. Your head should feel much better now. Okay. Um, How's the feel? Do you feel? Do you feel your headaches? Pressure gone? Um, it's a, a little bit, yeah, because it was so heavy that first, like my my head was just gonna go like that. It's it's a little bit um less and and uh. uh if you can help me check, I think my, I don't know, maybe my stomach or my organs and because there's this really loud growling sound that I hear so loud that if someone is sitting next to me, it sounds so unusual, you know, and it feels like it's moving in and out of my, my body or something. I'm not sure, but it comes from my right side and move this way. So could that have been, uh, what we just shifted? The executioner that you were holding on to. Could have been the executioner. Do you still feel somebody in her house? No, no, I'm just saying it. Does she oh, still feel yeah. that now, or is that what she's been feeling? No, that, that oh, been... that's, no, that's what I've been, that's what I've been feeling for yeah, a that, long that, time. Yeah. That could have been him. That could have been quite easily. Do you see anything in my eyes again? Because my eyes have been really tight. Like someone is squeezing it from the inside. Really hard when I close my eyes. You should feel energy going through you and, and doing healing. So all of this should be relieved. This energy will stay with you for the next seven days. It went through your crown, down through your body. Um, did you see anything in my heart space? Because the back of my heart is just like scratching, scratching. Not back, but like in the, on my, my shoulder blade, between my shoulder blade, my right, left side, feels like there's a scratching in, from the inside. All the you, know what, you know what I think that is? is do you feel that now? Um, I feel it, especially in the nighttime. What I feel it, what I feel is this uh, executioner and you in the 1750s, when you died, you actually put a curse on him. Okay. So you you trapped him with you in that life, and the scratching is part of your heart chakra was damaged because of the curse. It's all been released now. It's all been sorted. Thank you. If you get, do you want a card, brother? Sure. Thank you. So basically, by your curse, you you locked him into your essence, sort of thing. Okay, so it's not it's, it's gone now. It's no longer there. It's, it's gone. gone. It, and, the, and the other attachment that was in your back is gone. So now the healing is energies inside of you. So all that has been repaired. Okay. When, he, when he was going, he was crying. He was scared. He didn't want to because he killed lo a lot of uh, French noblemen. And he was scared of uh, 
what God was going to do to him. But mm-hmm. that's all been sorted now. Okay. Right. Thank you. Tell us when to stop. Okay. Stop. Uh, this is a new one. Can you get that guardian angel? Hmm. Guardian angel? Yeah. Guess. This is a message from the angels to say your guardian angel is always behind you. Uh, it's always there to help you. So just connect if you really want to. But he's always there, or she is. I'm not sure if it's an issue. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Can I can I ask one more question, please? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. There has been this nibbling on my left, my legs, my feet, like my feet. Uh, when I like in the morning when I get up from bed, it's like this nibbling. It's almost like something is latched onto my left legs, and I always wonder. I try doing some stuff to that, but I don't know. So. Uh, now you've had the two attachments released try doing a bit of grounding drink water do a bit of grounding and see what the difference is okay before you get out of bed that kind of grounding or okay is this is in the morning when you're first um waking up yeah like uh when i you know first waking up you know like which is usually anywhere from three four like that to go use the restroom, I would feel like almost like this this thing, like a like a I don't know, like a scratching on my my um my heel area, my feet area. Do you know what that is? I've just been told what it is. That's your guardian angel to say that he or it's an he actually. He's there to help you. It's a sign. Yeah. It's a sign Nothing. of a sign of your guardian angel to help you. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, to just think that it's it's in the when you just wake up, mm-hmm. you're scratching your feet, Sam here. That's what it is. Now you know he's here. He might not do it again. Okay. 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 But connect. Try connecting to to. Yeah. Does this um, does the guiding ninja have a? Something that I can go by, like go uh, call his him. Name is, his name is his name is his name is Marcus. Marcus. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. You know, I actually knew you were going to ask that because <laughs> I was trying to check out what the name was. <laughs> his name is what? Marcus. Oh. Marcus. Okay. Okay. Sorry, my uh, my thing is going in and out. I can't really um. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate he's, it. He's been with you since you were born. Huh. Wow. Okay. That's a lot. Wow. All right. That's good to that's good to know because sometimes I feel really lonely and all of that. So that's good to know. You chose him before you came here for this life. You asked him to be your angel. And he said, Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> yep, you're good friends. That's good to know. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You. Um, next we have Valencia. Hello. Hello. Hi, Valencia. Hi. How are you all? Good. Good. Um. Just uh, requested another scan since the last time I was here. Um, my back is a lot better, but these past two weeks, there have been, I almost feel like, I don't know, just off balance or something. It's been from emotional one week to this week with headaches and the tension, the tension came back towards the end of the week, but it's more so in my hips. So I'm not sure what's what's causing it. I'll give you some healing.
like your hips are turned like one is higher than the other. Yes. Just gonna straighten your hips out. Do an adjustment. She's gonna do an So you're going to feel a little bit of warmth in your hips and the bottom of your spine. And then we're going to feel a warmth in your thighs and in your knees. Because that whole lower part is going to have to be adjusted. Okay. And then the top of your your neck is a little knot up here, right here. Cross your shoulders. I feel very warm right now. Yeah, that's where the healing is. <laughs> <laughs> and on your arms and into your wrists. And in here, all these muscles. See any other issues with your back? There's no attachments. It was just your hips. Almost like you turned wrong. Maybe you picked up something and just strained it, twisted it a little. bent over and lifted something wrong. Just to feel a warmth going up throughout your whole spine and up into your neck and just a good feeling. I think you just strained it. You just did something, you picked up something the wrong way. Everything else looks pretty good. I've got a different angle on it. Uh, you do? Okay. Yeah. yeah I've, I, you've got a gift of healing. Did you know that? No, not really. But what you've been doing, you've been healing people who have got a lot of uh, negative issues. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you've been picking up their negative energies. Mm. And their negative energies go to your weak point and you've been right manifesting the pain there by other people's pain. So you need to try try and shield yourself. Uh, some people have got that ability to take other people's pain off them. And you need to like ground yourself and uh, drink water. Uh, it's a great ability, but if you don't know you've got it, you, all of a sudden you wonder where this pain's coming from. Is there a lot of people around you? Well, obviously the world's got a lot of fear at the moment. Do you work or do you hang around with people who are very, have a lot of, are very frightened, are very worried? I used to, um, but <laughs> I used the pandemic as a reason to shield myself from all <laughs> that toxic energy. Mm -hmm. So I really have not... I have not really gotten back out there yet, but um, I noticed that when I sleep these past two weeks, um, I'm sleeping for a good amount of time. I can tell it's a deep sleep, but when I wake up, sometimes I feel drained or um, my eyes are like, it's hard to explain. It's like they don't want to open. 
Like I'm awake, but they are just so heavy. They're just, they're exhausted almost. They're just so drained. I wonder if you do that in Astra. Could be. I wonder if you, I wonder if you pick it up in Astra travel and not remember it. Could be. But when you go to sleep, just ask the, uh, ask the angels to shield you. Put a shield around your aura field. Okay. Against uh, low vibrations. Okay. Thank you. I did. I was told that you pick up other people's energies. So just be careful on that. Um, I was told that I was an uh, empath. Mm. Yeah. Yep. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just, to, just at the beginning, I guess, of my journey, trying to learn, learn more about me and. Um, how to protect myself from things yeah. that are releasing everybody else's crap. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to release my own. <laughs> now I'm going to theirs too. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do, do you want a card then? Yes, please. Tell us which one. Tell us to stop when you want. Stop. Uh, celebration. Hmm. So. I'm ready for that. Your your intentions to change. You've got intentions to change in your life, and that's it'll happen. So, have you got intentions to to change your path? Yes. Well, there you go. You you've got the card. It. Uh, that that's coming. So. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So you that's the card to pick if you want to change, to change your life in the very near future. That's good. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks for everything Thanks, you do. You're welcome. Was there any way you guys could do a scan on me? Mm -hmm. I did message it in the chat box like an hour ago. Only because yeah. I've been doing a lot of past life clearing this last couple weeks, all month. And my did, lower back is burning. Did, did you want your daughter to do it? Uh, yeah, I sent the picture to you guys, but she's she can't get on. Her phone's not working. Is that her? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I've never done this before. Mm -hmm. so. Like her, her left boob and like maybe possibly blood clots. She's just having a lot of problems since she got the epidural. And that's mm. to the point where she's been to the emergency room like 30 times since January. Okay. And they sent her to endocrinologists, cardiologists, mammograms, you name it. She's been all over the place. Is her name Destiny? Yes. I'm picking up like a contract. It's like a thing that she agreed to do before she came in into the, you know the body. I was picking up that. I've sent aliens to try and calm it all down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been doing like a lot of uh, like past life clearing. Um, me and David actually went and did because I know I'm part of the 144. And basically, my team has been pressuring me a lot to remember who I am. So it's like it's last three months it's been nonstop back to back healings and going backwards. And me and David did the Titan giant clearing the other day where we went back to the Titan timeline when they destroyed the giants to like clear that timeline. Can I stop you for just a second? Okay. I'm getting messages like crazy that people keep going backwards. We're here to raise the vibration of the planet now. Forget about going backwards. Your job is to raise the vibration and worry about now. I don't know why people are going backwards. What you're doing is bringing up crap. And this is why you've got people stuck in places and you're telling people to do shadow work for no reason. Worry about today. Unless stuff comes up from the past naturally, 
then worry about it. Stop going backwards. Well, the reason Stop we did about. it, the reason we did it the other day was because something was like, uh, like my room was really, really bad. Like it was like it was being cold and it hurt so bad. So he looked like he had looked in and he was like, yeah, they want you to, to clear the tie in timeline that that's what's holding you from, you know, going up like that's what's holding you back. So that's the only reason I did it. I only go for healing like when I actually feel that it's needed, like like I'm in pain, like and I can't do it myself because I'm a healer. So I heal myself a lot. I heal my family a lot. But like when I get to the point where I can't handle it anymore, that's the only time I reach out. And it was really and that bad. I understand, like, but I, I just keep hearing people saying doing shadow work and clearing the past. Don't ever do yeah, that. I don't, all I don't do it if I'm doing amazing. is bringing is bringing up stuff that shouldn't be brought up. I'll put something in the brain and might change that. So keep me informed. All right. Yeah. Okay. My kidneys have just been bothering me. Like ever since I did the clearing with David the other day, like they're burning like the bottom of my lower back where my kidneys are burning. Mm. I don't know if maybe there's some residue left over or what it's from. Well, when you do clearing, you do bring residue up. And that's how Deb said, you don't do every one. You, you do the ones that are trying to come out. But then you have to drink plenty of water and you got to ground yourself a lot more. Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. Fun. And I do salt baths. I, I do it all. And I've been doing healing with my crystals. and But it's just three days now and it's just still there like no matter what I do so okay do you want some healing then please yeah okay You should feel better. I see that energy in you. Yeah, definitely feel it. Yeah. Stay there for the next week. Don't forget to flush your water. Your diet. My food, my water, everything. I set intentions all day. I'm like walking intention machine. <laughs> I got a list in the morning, a list when I go to bed. <laughs> What I'm getting is something very, very weird. I'm trying to work it out. You, you had it like a cord. You know how we have cord, people have cord. You had a cord from that life that was attached to this life. Mm. And I've cut it. Another, something new on me, that one. I don't know. <laughs> was it from the Titan one? Yeah. The yeah. Titan, the titan it started one. started right after. Yeah, the, the Titan one, uh, it looked like a Klingon in Star Trek. <laughs> that's, why, that's what David said. It was like it had attached to my root, like, hey, it's time to clear me. Mm -hmm. And we did, you know, and then that's when my kidneys started burning. And I could always tell, you know, that means something's, you know, there because that's what mm -hmm. happened last time. So I could tell it, you know, it needed releasing. Plus, I've cut like 30 cords between my family and other people this week week that you know are just not going with me on my path any longer so it's been a long week that's good always eventful always mm -hmm. mama will you treat us to your beautiful light language everybody should experience wilma's light language hey thanks Tim. um okay hang on しんどかんだけやとあかしのこやたはいしんどかてなとあいえるにるいしんとこれにえたそろわんだへやなへんどわんだそろねそろねやんだへんやんやんやんやんやんやんやんやんやんやんやんやんやんやんやんやんやんや
Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. That was lovely. I'm all trembling now. <laughs> I love her like thank you. Every once in a while, she'll leave me a message with a beautiful, beautiful light language. I love you. Thank you for being here. 